This is CKMS Community Connections. Calling in from Cambridge is TSN commentator Adam Ross. Adam, thank you for calling in today. In case uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Adam Ross is a commentator for TSN, NASCAR and TSN specifically. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself for our listeners who may not know about you. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm a middle-aged fella, uh, 44 years old, with a couple of sons and a wife. And I sell trucks for a living, and I announce car races, and I'm an advocate for mental health. How long have you been living in the region of Waterloo? You're obviously a member of our community here. Yeah, you know what? I met my wife a little more than 20 years ago, and she was born and raised in Cambridge, and I was living in Burlington, and it wasn't long before I relocated up to uh, move in with her and live in Cambridge. So it's been almost 20 years. Wow. We have a, we have a local longtime celebrity here calling in on the show. This is great. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Um, yeah, so from, from how I know you, I've, uh, I have a radio show here on CKMS called Wide World of Motorsports, and I've been able to look basically look up to you, kind of see how you do what you do, and um, being able to have some fun with that. For some of the stuff that involves mental health and what you do, what are some of the challenges that comes with that? You know, that's a really good question. I've been fortunate to learn that in doing things that you really enjoy doing, it helps relieve anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to calling car races, uh, I haven't had a lot of trouble from anxiety or depression that have affected that part of my job. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to sales, the part that you know pays the mortgage and keeps the roof over our head, that can be very effective. So it's, it's two different things, but I find if I'm doing something that I love and I, and I love having a microphone in my hand and, and calling races, uh, it, it makes a lot of my symptoms go away. Right. Um, I, I also agree with that. I, I see that as well when I'm going over to the racetracks and doing stuff for the show. I'm able to uh, really feel in my comfort zone and uh, get away from some of the stuff that Brings, brings me down. I, I also have uh, some mental health issues uh, that I have. And uh, definitely, I, I hear what you mean, um, to, just to have something positive in life. A lot of people don't really realize that you could just find something that you like to do. And that, that could be what, all you need. Some people, it's a little different, right? Well, everyone's unique. Mm -hmm. And something that I picked up just recently that I thought really made a lot of sense, they suggested people with mental health challenges should really consider volunteering right in a field that, yep. that interests them you, you don't have to devote your life to it but spend a little bit of time every week and what it really does is takes the weight of your problems off your shoulders for the time when you're focusing on someone else right some of the stuff that you have to face as you said uh, it definitely does make things easier going on the racetrack you kind of get away from stuff what are, what are some of the other things that you would recommend for people that uh, don't have that option? I think you have to be mindful of your diet and your sleep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's all the things that your mom or dad probably tried to get you to do growing up. Yeah. Go to bed at a reasonable hour, get enough sleep, drink enough water, try to eat properly every day. And James, the last little bit, I've been struggling with anxiety here the last month or so. Okay. Um, and I find it, it can be very challenging to keep up with nutrition i quite often get to the end of a work day and think boy i never ate today and, and that's terrible for you you've got to treat your body well and your body will help your mind right that that's a uh, health is definitely a big thing for sure and what are some of the things that you have found that are useful tools in our community you know i i found that blogging for myself or journaling you don't mm -hmm. have to share it anywhere, but just put your thoughts down somewhere. Right. And uh, it just helps to get them out, to see them on paper, to see them on a computer screen. So that's been a great outlet for me. Talking right. to people is a great outlet for me. So I'm very fortunate. Well, uh, well a lot of people are socially uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I seem to be okay with having conversations. Right. Uh, and I find it to be a huge help. Yeah, always talking, even just this conversation now. I've known you for a, a year or so, a couple of years. Uh, I see you every couple months, though. But uh, to be able to just talk 
actually just like how we are right now, it's interesting to get to know you in that sense. And it could work like that for other people as well. I, you know, I don't wish mental illness on anybody. I think it's very challenging to deal with. Mm -hmm. Uh, Having said that, I feel no shame. Right. I I am who I am and I have the challenges that I have. and, And I think people have done a great deal of work. They've put in a lot of effort to help remove the stigma of mental illness. I'm of the opinion that the stigma is pretty much gone. It's time for us to step up, Mm -hmm. step out of our box, talk about it, listen to people, uh, really reach out and try to bring people together. It's not enough just that the stigma is gone. We really have to stand up together and support each other. I think with uh, what I'm seeing from your end, I read uh, some of your blog entries there, and uh, as well as the MindWell sessions, apparently some of your events there, a lot of people come out, there's a lot of positivity, good stuff coming from it. Yeah, we yeah we had one last night in Cambridge, and, and you know, I've been working with a mentor who really helped push me, because mm-hmm. um, I've been doing the blogging, but I created AdamOutThere.com, AdamOutThere on Instagram, AdamOutThere on Facebook. Uh, and through that, we developed the MindWell sections, which is just a, a casual chat. Uh, we, we hold it in Cambridge one night a month okay. uh, at Monogram Coffee Roasters. And I get up there and just talk a little bit about my life with depression and anxiety. Uh, I generally invite guests who have some sort of expertise in, in ways to live healthier, simple things you can do to make your life better, to ease your, your mental burden. And uh, it's been really rewarding, James. We've had a lot of people come out, a lot of people open up and share. We've had a lot of people come out and just sit there and take it all in. I I think people are realizing whether you participate or whether you just sit there and listen, it's a Mm -hmm. great comfort to know that you're not alone. Right. What what are some of the interesting things that you have seen so far? What are some of the things that you've been surprised about from uh, leading these sessions? I've been pleasantly surprised with how people open up Mm -hmm. Uh, my goal was to create a safe space provide an environment where people would feel willing to talk about problems and challenges that are very very personal Mm -hmm. and i'm really pleased that we've had that we've created that dialogue and it's been great and some of the experts that that have spoken uh marcia jaworski from the gulf health collective was amazing Last night, Sarah Cuz, the conscious passenger, I'm going to have my brain read uh, in the next month or so, so I'm looking forward to share with you the details. Learning how many venues there are, how many avenues there are for people to try to improve their their current situation. Yeah, uh, that's always good to know that there's always something, especially in our community. This is a community-oriented show, so to have an option like that for, for someone like me, um, especially for someone as you, someone that I, I would consider, I, I would look up to. That that means a lot. So uh, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for being someone in our community that wants to make things better. <laughs> thank you. It's my pleasure. It's it's been a humbling experience and it's been a very rewarding experience. And, and let's not, you know, I don't make any reservation about the fact that I have selfish intentions too, James. It feels right. good for me to stand up and speak and talk about these things. So it's very therapeutic for me. And if it helps other people as well, that's that's fantastic. So you said it's going to be monthly. So when's the next event? Well, you'll appreciate this. I've been doing it on the second Thursday of each month, uh, Thursday night. But I think the second Thursday of February is it's the qualifying the races yeah. for the Daytona Bike. That's the first thing I just thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, so you might have to uh, put some priorities in check there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Don't don't mess with Speed Week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that that's something that uh, is very interesting too. Uh, to be able to see someone that um, you you look on TV and you see people on there and you don't realize these things. Like I've I've watched you on TV for many years and uh, to actually hear the real side of what some of the people go through, it's absolutely amazing. Well, you know what? Let's be let's be crystal clear. I, James, I'm as happy a person as you're ever going to meet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love life. I love to smile and laugh. Absolutely, it, it shows. It definitely shows out on the. Uh, to a dark place from time to time. Right. Yeah, it definitely it definitely shows that that you have some fun on the broadcasts. It, it's definitely cool because I, I I can relate to that. I have that vice 
I, I think I see it as something that I can use as that almost a vice, if you will. Um, mm-hmm. It's it, to me, it's like uh, I, I get almost a bit of a an adrenaline rush. I feel almost high when I'm at the racetrack. It's it's a very nice experience to to get to something that I like. Yeah, absolutely. And if I can give one more piece of advice to people who might be struggling, find something on the calendar that you can look forward to. Mm-hmm. I, and you know, for me and you, it's it's going to the racetrack on a given weekend. But, but yep. mark on your calendar things that interest you. A lot of people, it's as simple as June twenty first. Do you know why I like June twenty first, James? Why? It's the longest day of the year. Oh right, we okay. Shine on June twenty first than any other day. Right. Um, little things like that. Just 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 be aware. No. Know where you're at in the calendar, which is why this time of year can be very challenging because we're in pretty short days. And uh, mm-hmm. I look forward to the fact that we're getting more daylight each and every day. And yeah. I can't wait for spring. I can't wait for things to turn green. Yeah, definitely. Uh, what is that seasonal deficiency or something? I, f- I forget what exactly it's called. But that's definitely something that I've been feeling a lot lately here. Um, tell us, so for, for people who want to follow around for what, for what you're doing, you have obviously a bunch of social media pages and a website. Can you tell us again where where could we find you at? Yeah, Adam out there, Adam out there on Instagram and Facebook, mm-hmm. AdamOutThere.com. Uh, those are the ways I'm trying to reach out. I really appreciate you having me on your show. It's it's all about networking. I'm trying to build a community, right. James, of, of people who are mindful of of mental illness and people who want to make things just a little bit better. And I think this community is really going to grow. Right. And I think, I think, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I have a big heart and I think I wear it on my sleeve. And I think uh, whenever I see someone who's down or whatever, I want to try to help them. And even if it's just a stranger or even if it's my best friend, uh, that, that's something that a lot of people want to just help. A lot of people are generally just, just want to make things better, make things easier. And, and you know, the world needs that. The world mm-hmm. could use some compassion right now. I think we all can. Uh, so take it upon yourself. Give someone exactly. a smile. Nobody gets hurt, and it might just make their day. And, and attend a MindWell session in Cambridge. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you know yeah. what? It's free. It's free. You come and go as you please. Right. So it'll be 7 o'clock on a Thursday evening. Uh, one woman last night was absolutely adorable. She said she walked down in the daylight, and she scolded me because the, the time she couldn't find the time on the poster when it was happening. Okay. So uh, we said, look, you're here now. We're going to make sure you get a ride home. Oh, wow. And that's what we did after the event. We, we we got her home. She wasn't too far from the venue. But, yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can to get people to the event and keep people at the events. And uh, and I hope you were able to make it out, James. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think I could benefit something from this uh, personally, not only that, on a level of just uh, also helping people out and, and having some more awareness about this. I was really excited that I had a young man come up after the event and he is part of a group that's hosting events that are targeted at teenagers uh, and he asked me if I would come out and speak and again I was humble I'd be happy to come out and do that I, I think getting involved is a very good thing and you'd be amazed at how much it'll help you uh, reaching out to help others absolutely it, it you know it makes a big difference being a, a good person to someone else just even just a small little act could really go a long way for somebody, for sure. Absolutely. I think that this was pretty good to be able to give to the community this information here, this knowledge, to be able to have something that could really improve yourself, maybe improve someone you know. Let uh, let them know about Adam Ross and his uh, social media pages at Adam Out There. That's where to find me. Follow it there. Uh, lo- local celebrity here, Adam Ross, calling in. Thank you very much, Adam. I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you having me, James. It means a lot. Uh, hopefully we'll have you on the CKMS Wide World of Motorsports show for a season preview coming up in the next little bit. Yeah, please do. Thank you very much, Adam. Have a great day. You as well. Bye now. See ya.